A transition provides a visual effect when you move from one slide to the next. For example, this transition uses a honeycomb pattern. Another one has more of a glitter effect. And others look like a page being flipped or a cube rotating. To enhance a transition, consider adding a sound to it, like this. To give the sound impact, use it selectively, such as at the start of a new section in the slideshow. Let's use sound this way. To begin, we click Transitions. I want to transition and sound at the start of each section. So, I'll press Ctrl and select the first slide under each section heading. Agenda Values Impact and Challenges. Now I'll click More to display the Transitions Gallery and choose the transition effect, called Honeycomb. The slides with the transition effect have a little star icon next to the thumbnail. The transition plays from the preceding slide, so for the Agenda section, the transition starts on the title slide. I'll click Preview so we can see it. Now we'll add a sound to each slide that has the transition. I'll press Ctrl while I select the slides. And on the Transitions tab, I'll click the arrow next to Sound. These are built-in sounds I could use, such as breeze, chime, and drumroll. However, I have my own sound file, so I'll click Other Sound. That's the sound file, spacebubbles.wave. I'll click it and click OK. The sound immediately plays as a kind of preview. Now let's click Preview to hear the sound while the transition plays. For the audience, this combined effect signals a new section. I'll switch to Slideshow View. From the title slide, we transition to the Agenda, which is the first section. Then we move to the Values section, and we click through that. Let's imagine that it has more slides. Our next transition is to the Impact section, And finally, the Challenges section. The transition and sound have a purpose, and play just enough to be effective. If you want to remove the sound, select each slide it's applied to, and on the Transitions tab, click the Sound arrow, No Sound.